Have you been considering making the move to Centennial, Colorado? Well, in today's video, I am going over anything and everything that you need to know about Centennial, and I'm literally going on the map and showing you guys step-by-step -step on anything and everything, like where the Starbucks are, where some of the best neighborhoods are, and so on and so forth. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and keep on watching. And before we get started in the video, you guys know the drill. I have to let you know I'm a licensed realtor here in this beautiful state. So my number and email are popping up. Go ahead and pause this video, screenshot that information for later. And then also, if you're not quite ready to reach out yet, go ahead and subscribe. I post videos just like this one, all about the relocation process, specifically to the Denver Metro area, every Monday and Wednesday at 5 p.m. But let's get started in the anything and everything Centennial, Colorado. <laughs> getting right into it you will notice something right off the bat about centennial is it's pretty it's a very irregular shape we'll say that to, to say the least so whenever i pull up my screen right now i'm actually the first thing i'm going to do is just kind of show you guys the shape of centennial so as you guys can see here it is kind of funky right so there's a lot of over here on the left hand side and then there's a lot over here on the right hand side a lot of gappage going on but I'm gonna kind of break it down all for you guys today in this video, and we're really gonna go ahead and start off by showing you guys proximity to downtown Denver, and then also proximity to the airport. I think those are the two important things that a lot of people need to consider when they are making the move. So, as you can see, we'll say like this little blue dot, that's basically where Centennial starts on the right-hand side, right? So. From Denver, from that spot, you're looking at about probably 30 minutes, but also Centennial's right here on the left-hand side. So I would say anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes on this area, you're definitely gonna be a little bit closer just because you can hit the I-25 and go from there. And then when it comes to the airport, your airport is going to be right up here on the right-hand side. That, I mean, from the little blue dot, which is the, all the way to the right of Centennial, you're probably gonna be looking about 35 minutes. And then if you're all the way down here over towards this area, you're definitely gonna be looking probably closer to that 40 minute range, just depending on if you wanna take the toll road or not and things like that. But we will go ahead now and zoom in here. I'm gonna go and get started on the different areas of Centennial. I'm just gonna type it in one more time because this whole little area kind of gets a little tricky when it comes to if you're specifically looking for Centennial. And you guys know I've explained it to you a couple times. I would highly suggest you don't really stick to one specific city when you're looking for houses in general, especially as the market is shifting to be a little bit more competitive with interest rates going down. You definitely want to keep that in mind. You don't want to just say, I only want to strictly live in Centennial because your options when you move here are going to be very limited. I know that some people are still going to go ahead and do that. And that's up to you guys. I want you to be happy with wherever you move to. But like I said, Centennial is kind of like, it's like a mixture. Like some of this is Aurora. Some of this is going to be like Parker right here. And you'll be essentially limiting yourself. And I don't want you guys to do that. So we'll go ahead and get started in this right hand side. Obviously this is going to be the more like complicated part of Centennial. You do have proximity to I guess the main spots of Centennial when it comes to shopping and stuff like that in this area and then you also have what you would have access to in Southeast Aurora. So technically I am a Southeast Aurora person and I am the blue dot <laughs> and then basically some of my neighbors are Centennial so that's why I always ask whenever I talk to you guys oh you know you said Centennial is Southeast Aurora okay too or if you say Southeast Aurora can Centennial be in your options of places to look. So zooming in here just a little bit more, we're gonna kind of go and show you guys some of the main shopping centers over on this right hand side real quick. So you have your Sprouts, there's a King Supers right here, a Starbucks. I know I like to mention my Starbucks 
I'm thinking, is there any Duncan? Shout out to you, Duncan guy. Forget your name, but <laughs> you know who you are. You asked me to start showing some Duncans, and honestly, there's no Duncans right here, so I don't know. They're very rare here in the West Coast. I would say they're not as popular. Actually, I just thought of where Duncan is, so I'm gonna point that out later in this video, so keep watching. But you have your sprouts, you have all your shopping, you have a Walgreens over here in this corner, things like that. And also in this area, some of these are going to be Cherry Creek School District, so if school districts are important to you, I highly suggest doing more research on those. These aren't necessarily the boundary lines or anything like that, so someone could still be in Centennial and maybe not have that Cherry Creek School District. Keep that in mind. Go on niche.com and that link is down below on every single video that you guys could watch. So you'll be able to go and see different school rankings and things like that. I think it's super, super important, not just for if you have kids or not. I think it shows a lot like value and things like that, right? So I think it's super important that you do your own research. Niche.com will go over. I think they have crime rate on there. They have school rankings. They have walkability. They have proximity to things. And they also have ratings from other people outside of myself. So I would highly suggest, again, go checking that out. But you will definitely have some Cherry Creek School Districts right in here. And as you go down Smoky Hill, I believe this is... Somewhere in this area is gonna be Smoky Hill High School, which is another Cherry Creek School District high school. And then as, well, so that's really your main shopping centers right here on the right-hand side, outside of like Southeast Aurora shopping centers, like Southlands, we have some Target down here. So if you're, work, if you're in this kind of area around here, then you'll be able to go and shop in that area. Also you have Parker down there, but we're specifically trying to talk about Centennial today in this video, so. A couple neighborhoods before we move over to the left hand side that I want to mention for you guys is going to be this area right here off of Orchard Road. So this is a pretty trafficked road I would say up here and it kind of goes, oh all these things are popping up now. Okay so it kind of goes all the way over here in this area. On the right or on the north side of that road is going to be tons of beautiful I say mansions, they're definitely not mansions, but they're beautiful homes and a lot of brick. I know you guys always are asking like, show brick homes, show this, show that. So lots of really, really pretty brick houses in here. Everybody loves a brick house, but it's still like a track style home. So it's not super small or like a ranch style. A lot of the times you'll run into that where it's like a lot of brick homes are typically ranch, which is like a single story, not a lot of square footage, that kind of thing. This you'll easily get 3000 square feet or more, maybe even 6,000 square feet in some of these homes. So that's really nice. And then I think it also has a little bit here on the south side you have some larger homes like that as well then kind of coming over here near saddle rock golf course you have lots and lots of large acreage properties so even if it's not super big in acreage like it might be only a half acre but sometimes people are looking for that kind of stuff so you have a lot of those properties right in here and you can kind of tell just like how the structure of the roads look like I know this is this maybe sounds weird but like the little white lines they're not as congested as maybe this area right here where you could see that the there's a lot more little side roads and things like that it's a really beautiful area and if you're looking for land I highly suggest being in this kind of area right here then we're gonna go and head over to this area right here so this is where you're gonna get a lot of shopping done i frequent this area quite often because it kind of has everything and anything that you would need so i'm going to zoom in here this is parker road it is like a major highway in a way and then also the arapaho is also kind of like a major highway so it's very trafficked in this area but that's where you typically are going to get all your shopping centers and things like that so right here on this little corner, it's kind of like a four way corner situation where you have shopping on every single corner. So just to explain to you guys a couple things that are gonna be in here. You have Taco Bell, you have restaurants like Chili's, Old Chicago, that kind of thing. You have, did I say King Supers? King Supers, you have a movie theater and then drum roll please, you have a Dunkin' right here in this corner. It's a Dunkin' slash Baskin Robbins, I think, or 31 Flavors, whatever you wanna call it. But you have that right in this area, which is super cool if you need access to any of that kind of stuff. And then right here on this other side, you're going to have things, you're 
going to have things, let me zoom in here. I'm like, what am I, what am I looking at again? Okay, so you're gonna have raising canes in there. You have a um, celebrity lanes, I think is what it's called. A really cool bowling place. You have Starbucks in there. You have a boxing class or something like that in there. Super cool tattoo shop in there. A Greek food place. Am I missing anything? I think there's a sushi place in there. So a couple different restaurants. And then here's kind of where all the bigger stores are going to be. So you have a Target, you have Ross, you have Home Goods, I believe, you have a bunch of bigger stores, right? So anything and everything that you would probably want to go to is right there. And then you also have access to a few different restaurants, whether it be Cheddar's, whether it be, I think they have Red Robin in there, they have Chipotle in there, I think maybe Five Guys, Cold Stone, anything and everything food is pretty much gonna be right here in this little area so if you like quick access to food and things like that it is nice to have be like close to this area i personally enjoy being close to this area especially compared to like southeast aurora where southlands it doesn't really have as much even though that's probably closer to me well it's definitely closer to me i still somehow some way always end up in this area because it has more things that i personally like you also have a 24-hour fitness so that's pretty cool and then if you are in centennial and you want quick access to a lifetime fitness i know that's a really popular gym for a lot of people that is kind of like right here in this area it's technically considered parker but it wouldn't be too far if you do want to specifically stay at the lifetime area and then we're gonna go i know i'm zooming in and zooming out but right down here on a wrap up this is going to be again all shopping anything and everything that you could think of is probably going to be here you have dutch bros which is another cool coffee spot you have like some Wendy's over here. You have, let me see, there's a golf course right here. You can kind of see a little peek of that. Growing down here, lots of different, what's it called? <laughs> lots of different hotels because again, this I-25 is going to be like a major highway here in Denver. So you're going to see a lot of traffic in these kind of like Arapahoe and I-25 area. And then also anytime you're around a lot of things like restaurants and things to do in general you're gonna have a lot of hotels so keep that in mind too outback steakhouse i think there's a culver's over here cafe rio lots of gas stations lots of restaurants in general so you definitely if you if you are a type of person that doesn't eat at home a lot and you like to go out to eat and you don't necessarily care mom and pop i think that this area is really good for you especially if you're younger or again just I mean, there's a lot of awesome things that you can do in this area. So if you like to have quick access to that, Centennial is definitely a good spot for it. Headed down here a little bit more, we're going to kind of check out this left-hand side. Lots of beautiful homes in here, and especially if you're trying to be close to Denver Tech Center, which a lot of businesses are running out of this kind of area right here, and you can't necessarily afford the Greenwood Village prices of like, I think they're like at a million plus at this point, and you still want to live close by to your work, this whole area is really awesome. And then again, you have super close proximity to downtown Denver, which I think is cool. So you can hop on the I-25, which is not a toll road, and head up to the Denver area for date night or whatever you guys wanna do. And when it comes to homes in this area, so you have some newer homes throughout Centennial, it's not like anything that I can really think of like a huge master plan community off the top of my head that's like all new builds, right? So unlike maybe in Parker where there's a lot of newer homes or Castle Rock, lots of new homes in there and even Southeast Aurora, lots of new homes in there. You have some in, I think Copper Leaf is a little bit centennial. So there are some newer homes in that area, but it's not as much as the, the other cities that I mentioned today in this video. Sorry, I'm getting tongue twisted because I try to make these videos short as possible, but as much information as possible as well. So headed over here on the left-hand side, again, you have super close proximity to all the shopping that you would possibly need. And even just going down here even more, I think there's, what's it called? Uh, that Oh, Shake Shack. Shake Shack is down here. Try the Oreo milkshake, it's really good. And then you have just a lot of beautiful older homes in this area too. I would highly suggest, 
you know, just checking out. I, I mean, you guys can go onto my website or you can even go onto Zillow, totally up to you. But lots of older homes in this area, still have your King Supers, things like that. You're gonna be really more, I would say in the heart of the city in a way, it feels a lot more city-like than say Parker, where it's it's definitely more suburban or even Castle Rock, which is very suburban. And then Lone Tree is pretty close by. So if you guys do like to go shopping a lot, you have Park Meadows right here on the bottom of Centennial and you got Ikea, you got, I mean, it's like the shopping center, like hub of the world, I guess, because I'm just looking at here and I'm like, oh yeah, there is a lot of shopping around Centennial. So if you want quick access to that, heading over here, you're kind of like, in that Littleton area. And so like right here is kind of where I'm thinking maybe, and I'm, I don't have kids, so don't quote me, right? And that I would highly suggest you check out the boundaries if schools are super important to you. But like right here in this area, because you're butting up to Littleton so closely, I don't know if those are gonna be considered Cherry Creek School Districts or not. That's just something that I would look into again if you're interested in that or if, you are looking to be closer to the mountains. This side's gonna be more important to you because you're not too far away. So you're probably a good still, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe less, from heading over towards the mountain area. And you have a lot of beautiful views in this area too versus this is a little bit more flat. Guys, it's like a really widespread, right? So Centennial is kind of hard to do a whole video about since it is very wide around, but I think I gave you guys a really good idea of what to expect when moving to Centennial. Centennial is a great area. Again, I would highly, I would live there for sure if I found something that I really liked. I'm just absolutely obsessed with Parker, so I don't see myself moving there. But if you're looking to be close to everything and anything, still close to Denver Tech Center, or if you want close proximity to downtown Denver because you work in that area, then I think Centennial would be a great spot for you guys. If you liked this video, pretty please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps my channel and helps me help more people just like you guys. And if you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe. I post videos every Monday and Wednesday at 5 p.m. all about the relocation process. And then also you're gonna wanna stick around for the rest of the series that I'm doing. So next, I'm probably gonna either do Highlands Ranch. Highlands Ranch is, I, th I think that's gonna be the one. And hmm, if you guys have any other suggestions, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. So that way I can break down anything and everything that you guys wanna know when it comes to living in the Denver Metro suburbs. And until next time, guys, my number and email are popping up. I hope to help you guys sometime one day. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.